Here at San Jose Taiko, we express the beauty of the human spirit through the powerful sound of the drums and use that to build community and as a path to social action. Hi, I'm Wisa Uemura, Executive Director for San Jose Taiko. We are a 50-year-old nonprofit performing arts company and also have a school for all ages to teach and preserve and promote the art form of Taiko. For us, Taiko is thousands of years old, used for many different purposes. Priests used a single Taiko to accompany their chants in the temples. It was a means of communication on the battlefield. The samurai or warriors would use it to indicate movements or action across the battlefield. What most people won't know is that the taiko itself, the Japanese drum, is thousands of years old. Um, but the art form of putting a lot of taiko together in ensemble format and using that as performance is um, relatively new, even in Japan. San Jose Taiko was the third taiko group to form here in North America. Our start was with third generation Asian Americans, mostly Japanese Americans, who were searching for a way to express their cultural identity. The term Asian American was just being developed in the late 60s. This is a great way to find my identity, uh, learn more about my history, you know, my, my family that I didn't know. My parents were interned or incarcerated in World War II sort of a, an awakening for me at that time, just trying to realize who I was uh, as an Asian American, as a Japanese American, what was really important for me and what was going on around us at the same time. There's a group in Los Angeles that we first connected with, the uh, Kinata Taiko. They figured out how to take a wine barrel. Like and, this one right yes, here? Yes, this is like a, a good example. Um, you can see this, the, the metal bands are still on there. <laughs> Um, and they just cut off the head and would put a cowhide onto it to make it their version. Uh, they created a version of the Japanese American taiko. We all got involved because we just thought it was a great sound, great instrument, great fun. We didn't really exactly know what we were doing, you know, because we were just jumping in there basically and we were just having a lot of fun. We like to say uh, to drop our center, so you want to bend your knees outward a little bit and then you're going to bring back your arm and then you, as you come forward, you're leading with the tail end of your bocce, and then you're going to do a wrist snap. Right. To strike. Okay. Got okay. It. All right. You're, you okay. want to do? You want yeah, me to do sure. it first? No, no, no. I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So, so center. There we go. Wide and deep stance, and. <laughs> oh, that was loud. Yes. And really powerful yes. to the body. Yes. You feel the reverberation. We have four principles. Attitude is the mental part of it. There is ki, K-I, which is energy, and this is the emotional part. There's kata, K-A-T-A, which is the form or stance. That's the visual part, the choreography, how we move and use our bodies to play the taiko. And then the fourth is musical technique, how we play and strike the drum, learn our music in order to create the best possible sound. We have a very popular program called our School Outreach Assemblies. And our underlying message is really, you know, we're sharing with you some of our culture and we really encourage you to embrace and learn about your own culture and share it with others. We hope that the work that we put out there is able to tell components of the Japanese American experience here in the United States.